Well, hello, Internet. This is more like a complete custom paint. I didn't add anything to the sculpt. I think it's a great sculpt. This is, of course, McFarland's Raw Tens Fins. This is what he looked like when I picked him up out of the store. I thought the head sculpt on this and the actual whole body sculpt on this shark is really good looking. Obviously, I mean, it's really good looking. I So anyway, so what I did was I made him look like a great white. So this is before, and here we are after. I'm not going to make this real long, so, that, so the sake of the video is not too long, but I'm just going to give you a far shot right now of what I came up with. I wanted the traditional traditional looking shark, great white shark. Um, I thought that turned out really well. Um, all the mechanics and all the stuff here, I went with a, a muscle look of the tissue here. Some of the, the green, I just went with some of the dark green and I weathered it up on purpose. I, I purposely weathered this up as, as the best of my skill that I could do, my somewhat little bit of a skill that I do have when it comes to a custom paint job with this much going on. Um, the shark was really easy to do. The shark was fun. I almost scrapped this project a few times because it was it was just it just wasn't coming out like I, I wanted it to. Not the actual shark color or the white. It's just all this stuff here, all the wires. I went all I painted everything separate. Um, I went with a copper wire here. I went just with black straight black down here and some trying to muscle tissue here and some blue and yellow and green wiring and then uh, some blue wiring up here. Um, I did a base gray and then I did a darker gray and then I went with a real dark deep gray for all the accents on the shark. Now when it comes to the mouth, that was something else. Let me see if I can get a little closer. That was something else. When I came to the mouth, that was that was really interesting. Um, let me see if I can get it up in here. I don't know how well you can see in there, um, but it was really a pain. I'll sh the best way to describe this, if I can get a little closer to the teeth, is that I used a, a real bright. I used several colors of red. Several colors. I looked at I looked at all sorts of pictures of great whites, the real, real live great whites, and I tell you, I went with, I went some blacks in here, and I went with. A really off white for the teeth. A bright white didn't just look right. It didn't look. It didn't look natural. I, w I try to make it look as organic as possible. But I mean, like I said, I'm not. I'm not. You know, there's a lot more people that are way more skilled than I am when it comes to this type of thing. But I, I did look on online where people were painting sharks and they just used this to straight red or a straight pink. I don't think I got some blues up in there by mistake. And like here's a dark here. There's kind of like a uh, white tone going through here. I tried to mix it up as best as I could. When I, this is basically what I came up with. It was kind of a pain in the ass. Like I said, I am. if I haven't mentioned it yet, I am going to some blacks in here, some missing teeth. I try to go really deep in the detail on this. It turned out better than I thought, but I, I, like I said, I am going to scrap this thing several times. Let me see if I can get some close-ups now. Let me see if I can get some close-ups. Uh, the uh, shark here, it's... Uh, I, I don't know how, how well this looks on screen, but it, it looks just a lot better, I think, in person. And um, with the black eyes, I blacked out the eyeballs, which you really barely can't see. And uh, on the top here, I did a little bit of a, where we had a, like some cuts here, a little, little bit of red, not not too bright red. I didn't want to go too bright. Up here on the top of the mechanics, I did chrome wash this. It was a, I painted these all black, and I went with a chrome wash over top of all of that. And I, I, I did black wash with some black, just straight black paint. Um, and I black washed it, really thinned it out with some water. I made a mistake and used alcohol and I started taking the paint off. But um, I did clear coat this a couple times before I started this here because I didn't want to jeopardize the, uh, the gray because this gray was basically a custom gray. Um, I, I couldn't find the right gray I wanted to do and uh, the bottoms, but you know, I tried to just, you know, put some gray on the tips and stuff and the white obviously on the bottom and some red around the jaw, if you can see, but here's the bottom of it. Um, I don't know how, like I said, I don't know how well this looks on camera. I'm trying to get some close-ups for you. Um, but I, I'm really, I'm, this is a, this was, this was in one way a nightmare. In another way, it was great. I, it was just, I might buy another one just to do a different color or just do the same thing again to have two of them. 
um, uh, like I said, I don't know, I mean, this is a great sculpt. This is a great sculpt for a uh, shark, man. I just, when I seen this in a store, I, I immediately wanted it. Um, like I, said, I don't know if you can see down there or not. I don't think you can, but let me get closer. Here we go. I got blues and grays and pinks and all kinds of stuff going on in there, man. And that was by accident. So if you decide you ever you want to do anything custom painting, just keep going. Just keep overlaying. Obviously, put it on thin. Just keep overlaying and over and overlaying. I try to get the most or organic look that I possibly could get in there. Um, see all the pinks and stuff. Uh, this I'm ha I'm really happy how this turned out. This is probably my favorite thing that I've repainted, so to speak. Um, this because of the sculpt is so it was so easy to work with. The sculpt was so easy to work with, except when it came to all the mechanics of the biomechanics and the metals and shit. But I mean, outside of that, man, um, I tell you what I did was, let me get it back. Let me get a further shot back. What I did was I went to Michael's, I went to Michael's and I got me a piece of half inch piece of wood and I got me a dowel rod and I got me a base. What I did was I just screwed, screwed a hole into there and then screwed holes into here and to here. And I used Gorilla Glue at the same time. I pr before I painted though, before I did any of the primary, I put I put it together first, and I pre-drilled inside the shark to make sure the mouth would still work. But the mouth the mouth still works and everything. It's all fine, you know. Blah blah blah. I mean, but I'm saying I did not catch anything like that. The back turns, it's fine. The back and all that, you know, it was it all moves around, um, you know. But I don't know. Here's now. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I thought this turned out pretty neat. I, I thought, it, but I was missing something. I didn't know what to do. I wasn't sure if I was going to put some go to the, go to the uh, the fish store and get me some fake trees here and put up in here. And I was going to get me near the little guys that are on, in the bottom of the aquarium that had the old school scuba gear on. I was going to put some. I was going to put that on the base. I was going to put that on the base down here. And maybe I didn't know what to do. Maybe I was going to get some rock and put here. But I did a video. Well, Buzz did a video that uh league of legends whatever this guy's name is thrash what thrash what forgive me if I, I don't care about his name i cared about what he looked like let me get rid of this turn thing here we go here we go here we go here's what i wanted here's i don't know why but this is what i went with this is what i went with and here's how i display it on my shelf I put him there put him there bring it down see there you go I, I display that like that on the shelf. Maybe not so close together, but you get you get what I'm saying. For some reason, I thought to myself, this was a really good, really good uh, character to have. For some reason, I thought this was a great. I, I don't know why. I know it doesn't make any sense. I know it doesn't make any sense, but I thought to myself, this. That's what I wanted when I saw that. League of Legends character, I immediately wanted it for the shark. I don't know why. It makes no sense. But anyway, that's how I display it. That's what it looks like. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I say this this was a this was a great piece to do and a nightmare as well. I actually stopped I actually stopped working on it for about a week and a half two weeks because i did get frustrated with it i did get frustrated with it but needless to say just just take your time and just add all the colors together um just go with it man it's it's i may get me another one of these i don't know i may get me another one of these and do another shark i don't know but anyway thank you guys for watching this is todd mcfarland's Raw tens, fins. I'll see you guys next time.